Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. So uh, let's uh, dive right in here. I have your pre-shuffle energies. Um, we're starting you off. Well, the Three of Swords is the last card that came out, but actually this card came out. Um, this is the only card that came out face up. All right. So I'm taking it that this is the central theme for you right now, because with this Three of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. So it seems on the surface that whatever you're dealing with right now, Scorpio, is pretty tumultuous, I will say. Um, heartbreak, rejection, betrayal, potentially, uh, some sort of failure. This Three of Swords doesn't necessarily just, it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't give me a romantic feeling. I feel like this is, I, I feel like this is some sort of like, maybe a business failure or a project failure or maybe a major bump in the road that kind of derails something but you see that's only the way it seems on the surface and that's why you have this nine of swords energy here scorpio so it's like whatever you're dealing with here it might seem like it's the end of the world it might seem like it's the absolute worst thing ever it may actually, it may be an energy or a situation where, you know, this is the last thing you ever would even allow yourself to imagine that would happen, let alone accept it or let alone, you know what, some, um, I lost my train of thought there, but this is like, this is what, like the worst possible case scenario or it, so it seems right but that isn't quite the case because you have judgment and the wheel of fortune with that and then you also have the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy okay so with that nine of wands i do feel like you're going to be persevering you're just you're going to be pushing through anyway you may not necessarily have a choice as to whether you push through or persevere or whatnot but what i don't think you see or you realize right now scorpio is that whatever failed i guess we could say for lack of a better term or i guess that's what's going to resonate the most with you right now whatever seems to have failed it, it's not the end of the world because ultimately you're rising above somehow i i feel like i feel like this might be a situation where um you may have known in some way that um whatever this venture was for you i mean it could be a romantic relationship but this is a general reading we're not we're not really looking into romance specifically i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get into love later but i mean this could be a romantic relationship this also could uh, the strongest thing that i'm feeling here for you scorpio is this kind of feels like a business venture or maybe a creative project or it, it, it maybe some sort of group effort I feel like there was some sort of inclination that things weren't quite in alignment or maybe you weren't quite doing the right thing. I also kind of feel like there was some sort of cycle maybe that you were perpetuating here that wasn't the healthiest, wasn't the best, or just wasn't serving your highest good. Um, and so it came to an end or there was some sort of maybe this three of swords isn't an ending maybe it's more so more more so a, a realization that's kind of what i'm feeling it feels more like a realization it could have been an ending like something could have come to an abrupt end um but ultimately there is a chance to rise above here i almost i feel like with judgment and the wheel of fortune scorpio this is kind of the universe coming to you saying okay can we can we put this to rest now or can we can we close out this cycle now maybe it's not the universe maybe it's your higher self here coming in and saying and maybe your spirit guides coming in and saying okay honey it's time to put this to rest now <laughs> can we can we move forward can we rise above this feels like and now if it isn't more isn't if it isn't so much like that for you then it also could be a situation where you're finally ready to release it you're finally ready to Again, this feels like a realization where maybe you 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 now see the toxic pattern. Now you see the the um, the cycle as it as it flows, and that's yes, creating some sort of anxiety or fear. It could very well be you're looking off into the future and saying, "Oh my God, what happens if this is recreated again?" But I don't think that's going to be the case because you have judgment here. You're rising above it. There's a higher calling. There's a wake up call happening here 
So whatever this looks like for you, whatever this is for you, Scorpio, um, there is an opportunity to rise above, to reach a higher elevation, to maybe close out this cycle, to change the karma here. I do feel like I do feel like this nine of swords is part of this realization for you because it's that it's that moment that you realize exactly what's happening and it just like you turn white as a ghost kind of energy, you know? Like you just go you go pale as hell. <laughs> like all the life drains out of you because of that one sudden realization. But understand, Scorpio, but that with that realization comes the opportunity to do something about it. All right. So that nine of swords energy work on allowing that to be only allowing that to be as momentary as possible like don't wallow in it don't 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 feed into it don't 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 feed into the fear scorpio okay just take i mean take your time and deal with the realization you know come to terms with it but then do what you need to do to rise above and and stop the cycle okay scorpio all right so let's get into the rest of the reading here for you see what else we've got yeah give me just a second i'll take a little sip of my tea mm. okie dokie here we go hi spirit please make me a clear channel for all scorpios sun moon rising venus and jupiter Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved in terms of general energies for the month of May 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, let's give this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got for you, Scorpio. One. Two, for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Three, for the month of May 2020. Yes, Scorpio, it is May. Four. All right, and last one. Five. All right, Scorpio, let's cut the deck. And see what we've got going on here. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Scorpio. We have the Page of Pentacles. This is beautiful, Scorpio. There you go. There's that level up. There's that next step. There's that rising above the situation. Starting over. Turning over a new leaf, potentially. This is the potential to move forward from whatever cycle you are looking to or having the opportunity to rise above from. Okay? This is the new physical reality. This is the... <laughs> I just heard freshman status. Interesting. I've never heard it like that before, but it makes sense. You're rising into a new... I also just heard dimensional level of ex existence. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. Look at you. Big, bad, and, and, and doing the damn thing. Um, but... And I, I also just heard starting over in a new way or... Um, Again, turning over a new leaf, okay? This is that this is that level up. This is the new start, all right? This is the fresh beginning. This is where you rise above the, the, the current circumstances and create something new for yourself or live a new life, maybe even express yourself in a different way. Um, and, but it all has to do with what you're leaving what 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 you're moving forward from whatever cycle you're closing out whatever you're rising above whatever you're in whatever way you're ascending here okay because judgment can is represent uh, represents ascension and the wake-up call the wake up to ascend in a way right underneath the page of pentacles we've got the six of swords there you go you absolutely are leaving the past leaving the past behind moving from rough waters to calmer waters i'm kind of getting a five of swords energy with this um, in terms of you're leaving a lot of maybe sabotage, deception, backstabbing, um, extreme competition behind. Um, yeah, underneath the Six of Swords is, okay, the Ten of Wands. Yep, and underneath the Ten of Wands is strength. Yeah, Scorpio, this is really good. So um, 
yeah, you're definitely leaving strife behind, you're leaving burdens behind, you're leaving struggle behind, um, being overburdened, carrying too much, having to be responsible for too much, dealing with too much, um, uh, carrying more, carrying more than your fair share, being required to carry more than your fair share. This could have to do with work. I'm feeling that very strongly. I'm feeling for someone out there. I mean, you were the scapegoat energy almost within this environment, within this work situation, um, or it was just a really stressful environment. It, it was something that maybe ultimately wasn't giving you the satisfaction or maybe even the financial whatever that you need um or ooh, speaking of which we i mean this is the month of may so you could have um maybe you could have been furloughed or you could have been laid off during this pandemic but ultimately though scorpio this is whatever this is for you it's giving you the opportunity to rise above and do something new Okay, um, to release yourself of the burdens of uh, of having to do things you never wanted to do to begin with <laughs> is kind of what this feels like with this Ten of Wands. Strength being at the bottom of the deck is like as your overall energy, like the, to complete your overall energy here. I mean, you're really having to pull on some deep inner strength, like some reserves that you didn't even know you had. Okay, so I mean, this is really this is really calling you to rise up and st maybe even start to take control of your life or and to enact a little more of your own willpower here, especially with strength. Okay, having and also having the strength to continue, having the strength to persevere, not letting this stop you, not letting this get you down, not letting this uh, keep you from maybe living your life. Okay, uh, you know, Scorpio, this might have been a real big shock to your system, or it really, it could have been, it could have come completely out of left field. Whatever this is for you, Scorpio, I feel like you are really being presented with an opportunity to change the game, to flip the script, to do something that you never normally would have done in the past. Maybe because you didn't have the means to, you didn't have the time to, or you didn't have the willpower, you wouldn't just let yourself. Now is that opportunity to say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take that leap of faith. I'm going to do that new thing. I'm going to try that new venture. I'm going to strike out on my own and go in a new direction. Page of, page of Pentacles. Okay? This is really good. But I know it's scary. I know it's daunting. I mean, you are a fixed sign. Don't get me wrong. So, like, change for us fixed signs is <laughs> not too fun. But it's necessary. So we got to get through it, right? Okay, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. We've got the Queen of Cups. Okay, emotional value. What I'm getting with this Queen of Cups energy, Scorpio, is face your emotions. Don't push them away. Don't try to hide them. Don't try to make it seem like nothing's wrong. Don't try to make it seem like you're not affected by whatever it is is happening for you right now. It doesn't mean that you have to, you know cry on the shoulder of every friend you have okay but any anyone that'll be you know a supporting ear you don't have to you don't even have to talk to anyone else about this just don't hide any of your emotions from yourself face them deal with them process them also with this queen of cups energy you need to face your emotions because in within that you're going to find direction you're going to find ways to move you're going to find things that you you'll want to do next action steps and it's all based on how you feel because what you were coming from what you were coming out of right now is a situation that you persevered with regardless of how you felt it didn't feel good it wasn't exciting it wasn't fulfilling it, it was it was it was draining it was blah 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 you ignored all that and you just persevered you just pushed through well now is the time for you to not do that anymore to face your emotions to focus on what you're feeling and work on balancing that out and then taking action in order to facilitate feeling better and once you and once you find that better feeling place continue cultivating that continue doing things that help you feel better and better and better and you're going to find more and more ways to fulfill yourself outside of whatever karmic change is happening for you whatever you are whatever burdens you're releasing from your life right now okay page uh, not, the, not the page the queen of cups is coupled with there you go 
the seven of wands all right you might need to take some time to yourself you might need to go into a little bit of a hermit for a hot second you know um so that you can process your emotions so that you can understand and deal with what you're feeling but then you but it's not just so that you can be all like emo and say oh woe is me no the point here is to decipher what's truly going on within yourself so that you can clear up the discrepancies so that you can move forward in ways that facilitate feeling better being happy feeling fulfilled maybe even feeling loved okay um also though for some of you it's kind of the opposite of the extreme here um some of you are kind of closing out closing up clamming up not wanting to face your mother your emotions Ooh, your mother uh-oh does this have to do with your mother oh boy scorpio okay um maybe you're not wanting to face maybe you're not wanting to face your mother okay um but you're not wanting to face your emotions others of you on the opposite side of the spectrum need to get your emotions in check because they're all over the place queen of cups with the seven of wands also represent can also talk about working on developing stronger boundaries and actually it may very well be the need to develop stronger boundaries that is actually a part of this it may not necessarily be that you know you you're not your emotions all over the place maybe you need to learn to protect yourself maybe okay but see that falls right in line with what i was just saying about face your emotions and do what you can to help yourself be feel better and sustain that feeling better place and so it could very well be that you really need to develop stronger boundaries so that you can maintain your sense of emotional balance and health yeah all right and maybe you have a mother that has boundary issues that you need to reinforce is what i just heard okay I mean, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading here. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. This feels like an argument. This feels like someone needs to, you know, this feels like someone aggressively defending themselves. It's, a, it's as if... Um, it's as if there's this energy that has been building up and you've just been you've just been holding it all in but now you're at a breaking point be careful scorpio because we know we all know how vicious scorpios can be and quite frankly i love it but <laughs> but it's not always the best thing sometimes it, it can go a little bit overboard um and especially if you find yourself in this really volatile state where just like the smallest uh push if someone even thinks about pushing a button of yours, you freak out or you're ready to just chop their head off. You're ready to just leap at them, lunge at them, then go for the jugular. Be careful, okay? Get that under wraps. Uh, defend yourself, absolutely. But I would not, I'm not an advocate for violence. So like, you know, get that in check, right? <laughs> okay, the Knight of Swords is coupled with, okay, the Page of Cups. Wow, there is so much emotion here. Someone may be wanting to apologize to you or Scorpio, you may be wanting to apologize to someone else. There may be some sort of reconciliation. Someone may have cut you off. This, this Queen of Cups energy here could be another person that has really, really cut you off and like really like said, you know what? I... I this situation, or you could have cut someone else off. You could be this Queen of Cups, or someone else could be this Queen of Cups. But it does kind of feel like now, with this Page of S Cups and Knight of Swords here, this feels like a separate person to this Queen of Cups energy. It doesn't have to be. It's a general reading. But what I'm looking at right now is the potential for this person to have closed themselves off or cut you off, blocked you in some way, energetically, physically, in, on social media, or something like that, because they are concerned with their emotional well-being. They're concerned with how they feel. And this person here, this Knight of Swords with the Page of Cups that might want to apologize right now is, is look, you're not gonna get through to this Queen of Cups if you're this Knight of Swords because this Knight of Swords is still approaching this situation from a fairly immature point of view. Yes, they may wanna reconcile, but that, that, that reconciliation may be loaded. Maybe like, yeah, I'm look, okay, look, I'm sorry, but, and then they'll just turn around and just try and dump all of their, a lot of responsibility on you, i.e. 10 of wands, right? 
I mean, take responsibility for your actions, for your part in the situation. Yes, okay. And it does kind of feel like with this Queen of Cups energy here, someone is trying to do that. But also, they may not be trying to do that and communicate with another person or with the other person that might want to reconcile here. This does feel like an immature reconciliation with this Knight of Swords and the Page of Cups. It's like, yeah, look, okay, I'm sorry, but you did add this, 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 this. Like, how do you expect me? How do you expect me to like have a relationship with you when you're just gonna keep doing all these other things? And this, yikes! And this Queen of Cups energy is like, oh, oh, it's like that. All right, cool. We'll check it out. We don't even have to be associated with each other. Period. Like, I'm literally seeing this Queen of Cups energy kind of turn their face and, like, like lift their nose and just be all, like, snooty. Kind of snooty about it, but at this point, you, if this is you, you have every right to do that. Because this person is coming at you with some mess, y'all. <laughs> with some mess. That, it, you know what? That you don't even, you, you don't even need to deal with that shit. Don't even need, need to deal with that shit. All right. Uh, your challenge in the first half of your reading, Scorpio. The truth, Ace of Swords. And you know what's funny about this, Scorpio? This really could go either way. Either you are... I don't know. This could be... This This very well could be a message for a cross-watcher dealing with a Scorpio. Or Scorpio, this could be your situation and you're in this Queen of Cups energy here. But facing the truth is hard you guys sometimes but what i feel like here for you scorpio is like the truth has set you free and i don't even think you're you i, I don't i really don't even feel like somebody wants to even argue about this anymore there's really nothing to discuss because the truth is quite clear at this point that's what this feels like and then and then you have this knight of swords energy trying to come in and reconcile and like explain I'm hearing traumatized. Okay, so either this person in the Knight of Swords energy is trauma has been traumatized by something, and that's why this situation has been happening for you, or this situation was really traumatizing for you, and now this person wants to come forward and like make amends and explain certain things, but it's like you're not even really giving me the full truth. You're not even really taking responsibility for things. You're again, you're still acting immature here. Someone is. And this Queen of Cups energy is like, you know what? I don't need to hear it. Because I know what the truth is. You can't lie to me. <laughs> you can't lie to me. You cannot lie to this Queen of Cups. Because her intuition is too, in or their intuition, excuse me, is too intact. Okay? And it might have been intact all along. You didn't want to realize it. You didn't want to see it. You didn't, someone didn't want to ap uh, appreciate it. Whatever. But now it's like, okay, well... Too little, too late is kind of what this feels like. Ace of Swords is coupled with... Wow. Seven of Cups. I feel like someone is trying to maybe gaslight here or trying to hide the truth in some way. Smoke and mirrors is what this feels like. This Seven of Cups. It feels like an attempt at smoke and mirrors, but ultimately you can't, you can never really... I mean, you can bury the truth all you want. It's still going to come back up. It's still going to come back out. The truth will always... Well, the truth will always come out. So whomever is trying to, to, to throw all these smoke and mirrors, honey, don't allow it to happen because you know... Somebody knows the truth here. But they don't... But that's, see, but that's the kicker. They don't, it's not even like they feel like they need to do anything to assert the fact that they know the truth and this is the truth. But no. No. No, the truth is known. Whether you want to accept it or not, it's not anyone else's problem but your own, right? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Scorpio. Two of Cups. Interesting. This could have been a relationship. Um... It could have been a romantic relationship. It could have also been um, a, yeah, again, like a business partnership. Hold on, guys. Bear with me for a second. I want to adjust my camera a little bit so that you can see more of, oh, goodness gracious. I just don't have enough space. Okay. Again, I mean, I guess, 
No, no, we don't. Hi, guys. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm so sorry, Scorpio. Um, oh, that's better. That's better. Okay. So, two of cups. Um, this could be family, all right? This could be, this very well could be family. Mother, daughter, son, daughter, son, father, daughter, father, whatever. Uh, it also could be a creative partnership. Mm, okay, two cups is coupled with, oh, wow, look at that. Now there you are, Scorpio, with the king of cups. You know, um, <laughs> the first thing I felt with this two of cups energy was, okay, romance. Okay, so we do have a romantic partnership. And I, I kind of picked up on the fact that someone actually kind of realizes what kind of romance, what, what this situation was. This could be a divine partnership, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. And it feels like when, when this individual here in the Queen of Cups went ghost, is that's when this King of Cups, the counterpart here, realized what had happened, realized what he or she had done to maybe sabotage the relationship is what I'm hearing. To put the kibosh on it, maybe. However, it was destroyed or something. So this could be something that this could be something that's coming. So you, some whomever is in this Queen of Cups energy here, you really might want to go no contact. But I wouldn't recommend that you do it out of spite. Like, don't do it just because of the potential that someone might wise up. Like, no, do it for yourself. Do it for your own healing. Do it for your own well being. Okay. Hmm. But see, okay, but then also this King of Cups here on the Two of Cups could be someone finally starting to take responsibility to maybe finally starting to 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 um, grow up or working on becoming more emotionally mature to the point where maybe they can even, maybe they're approaching the ability to even face the raw emotions of this situation. But from a mature point of view does that mean they're going to communicate yes no maybe so maybe who knows i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't focus on that especially if you're here in this queen of cups uh seven of wands energy like hold your own stand your ground all right let's get into the second half of your reading here scorpio first set of surrounding energies you've got okay all right the three of pentacles teamwork but i feel like this is rebuilding after a period of solitude that's what i just heard i feel like someone here is going to need to go away for a while is going to need to close themselves off go into a little bit of a hermit mode put up some pretty strong boundaries and work on rebuilding three of pentacles is coupled with yep there you go there's the wheel of fortune again all right so um, I feel like this is a conscious effort, Scorpio, to really change the karma in your life or change the dynamic, change the cycles. Uh, I, with this Three of Pentacles, this is a this, the Three of Pentacles is teamwork, is building a foundation, and is also self mastery. And I feel like in in the face of whatever it is you're trying to change here, I really feel like somebody here is working on rebuilding so that they don't receive that same karma so that they can really close out that karmic cycle really doing the internal work the self-mastery type work to build a new life or build a new future for themselves okay second set of surrounding energies for you scorpio two of pentacles now all right um I, I this honestly Scorpio this feels like a really solitary energy so uh, for the cross watcher here it feels stronger stronger for the cross watcher um somebody here is really in a place of trying to balance out their lives and they really want no outside input I really I feel very strongly that somebody here is taking their life back is taking control and is 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 undergoing is is is, is um, under uh, taking on this reshaping of their foundation, rebuilding of their life, 
in a solo matter. They're not looking for help from outside ex ex external sources because, quite frankly, it's probably those external forces in the or, or, or um external sources or external individuals that were involved in the past that only led to the heartbreak that they found now. So, like, no, actually, we're changing this karma, and I'm keeping myself balanced, says this person. Two of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Wands. This person is reinventing themselves. Definitely reinventing themselves. I would leave them alone. I don't feel like they want to talk to you or anyone else about this. They're not looking for input. And if this is someone that is literally leaving you or leaving some leaving the past behind in some way, don't try and stop them. It's too late. It's too late. This person has made their decision to change the game. And you're not going to get in the same way that you did in the past. Period. It's just not going to happen. They're too far gone for that. I'm also hearing they're too evolved at this point for that. This really feels like a very strong conscious effort to close out the toxic karmic cycles that this person may have been dealing with here or maybe someone you're dealing with okay maybe not just a, maybe not you maybe it's the person that, that you're dealing with or blah 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 this is a general reading this could be talking to the cross watcher blah 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 whatever okay <laughs> your challenge in the second half of your reading scorpio oh well damn all right eight of cups moving forward moving on leaving the past behind and for someone here the challenge is that it, this only really feels mostly like a challenge for this king of cups um knight of swords energy this individual that's probably playing still playing the immature game uh, gender is not a thing we're not talking about gender here this is all just energy but this is someone this person that's still kind of playing this immature game that can ultimately start to wise up it feels like this eight of cups energy is hardest for them because whomever is actually moving forward here it's not that tough of a decision um there might be some heartbreak involved sure but it's not anything new it's not like this is fresh heartbreak they've been dealing with this heartbreak for a while so at this point it's like actually yeah this still kind of hurts a little bit but walking away or moving forward feels a lot better than staying <laughs> in this place okay and what i'm getting with the eight of cups energy here is that someone is literally has no choice but to watch someone else just leave just walk away or just move forward with their lives i just heard without any hope of ever really seeing them again i don't i mean i heard that so i communicate i i, I expressed it but i don't want you to get caught up in that because you never know but ultimately, that it, there is an understanding here that you're watching someone or someone's watching another person move forward, move on, and there is a good chance you'll never see them again. Like, there's a good chance that this is completely 100% over between the two of you and you're not going to cross paths anymore. That's entirely possible. But here's the thing. That's a realization that this individual that's in the process of, like, kind of wising up here becoming emotionally mature or wising up to the truth of whatever this dynamic was between the two of you it's hardest for this person they have to they have to deal with that okay eight of cups is coupled with oh Ooh, the seven of pentacles whoa somebody laid their bed and now they have to lay in it hmm this is your harvest, or this is someone's harvest. This is what you get. It's kind of what this feels like. And I, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be insensitive here, but damn. I mean, I was just saying someone is watching another person move on. And the realization is setting in that, you know what? This is par for the course. This person has every right to move on. And you know what? No, you may never see them again. You may never get this chance to uh, get a chance to reconcile, to really reconcile with this person. You may not. But again, that just feels like it's par for the course here. Mm. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Scorpio. The Magician. Okay. Excellent. We're manifesting new. Well, that makes perfect sense being the in the master manifester mode excellent 
the magician is coupled with oh justice yeah so this feels like whomever is walking away whomever is moving forward they're manifesting something new for themselves and they're manifesting something better more in alignment with themselves um quite just it's like someone here is literally creating justice for themselves manifesting justice for themselves or at least being able to be in this position where you're taking your power back and you are being the man stepping into your master manifester mo mode that is the justice being brought into your life or being served into your life taking your power back is justice in some in certain cases here for you scorpio okay that's beautiful that's absolutely beautiful i uh I mean, this feels pretty heavy, sure, but ultimately, ultimately justice is being served here, all right? Cool. So, let's close this out. Let's just uh, get you a closing oracle message from the unicorns, and then I'm going to move into your love reading, okay? Ooh. Which is going to be found, which is uh, available on Patreon. Yeah, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Go ahead and check that out. Link is also, it can the link to the site can also be found in the description box. Yes? B low skis. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle here. And then we'll close out your reading. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Ooh. All right, cool. Overall energy is support. Ask for support. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. I'm sorry, ask for help. Okay. Uh, definitely ask for help from the angels. Um, oh, but also some friends here. Okay. Friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Uh, this is kind of giving me an energy of someone that was kind of in a narcissistic, abusive relationship that couldn't really spend time with their friends. Um, I, I feel like Scorpio, you really need to work on right now. Your focus should be finding soul family, finding people that are, you know, you really do resonate with now that you're free enough to do so is kind of what this feels like here. Yeah. Take action, Scorpio. Now is the time. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Okay. So if you've been hesitant, if you've been beating around the bush a little bit there's your signs time to take action because you have the awareness that you need awareness live in the moment be conscious of your thoughts look for signs and guidance but the awareness that this is speaking to is similar to the awareness that this ace of swords was speaking to in the challenge section of your first half of your reading like someone you know the truth here somebody does so honor that and finally, you have healer. Okay, you have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. For some of you, you're needing to get on that path to begin with. For a lot, for some of you, you've been going through all this stuff because you are, so that you can learn to heal it and then you can help others heal, right? Mm, that's beautiful, Scorpio. Okay, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please, um... I hope you guys have a fantastic month. Yes, please have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of June. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.